One of the main features of Photoshop is its toolbar on the left hand side and you can move this toolbar around and if you're not seeing it you can click on Windows and Tools is at the bottom so we can hide that toolbar and we can bring it back. Now the toolbars has a bunch of different tools. If you hover over them, it'll show you a little bit about the tool. It'll talk about it and show you the shortcut key in parentheses. And each tool generally has more tools underneath. So if we click and hold on that tool, you can see the shortcut key B doesn't only just do the brush tool, but it also will cycle through the pencil tool, the color replacement tool, and the mixer brush tool. So there's four tools under this icon. The toolbar also has some other things such as being able to edit the toolbar here, uh, your color swatches, entering quick mask mode and also changing your screen mode. You might want to go into full screen or full screen with a menu bar, but I'm not using a standard screen mode at the moment while I'm recording. Now each one of these tools has options at the top and as I click on the different tools, you'll see those option bars changing around. So keep in mind that each tool that we have has a different set of options that you can change and as we go through the tools we'll talk about all the different options now there is a lot of tools here I don't even know how many there are but each one of these has two to four five six different tools within them so I'm not going to get through all of them but I'll show you the most common ones that you might want to use as you begin using Photoshop and other tools will um, pretty much make sense and be easier some of them will take a little time so we'll go through and look at the main tools and then hopefully you can experiment with the rest of the tools or check out Adobe's documentation on all of the tools if you want to know more about them.